Hey everybody, this is Chillcraft here. I want to do another video that really provides a lot of value to our Goblin Gold series. This is a repeatable quest. This is my favorite quest to do, and it brings in so much value and so much money. Now, this is a Twitch stream that I've gone ahead and edited, so sit back and enjoy. I have the timestamps down below if you guys want to skip ahead. This is kind of one of the things that I'm going to be going through, maybe after I kind of post the letter working guide. Uh, so you can come if you, you follow my Twitch channel, you'll check it out before. Uh, but this is kind of like a another one of those repeatable quests that I've kind of worked on and found out. And man, it you makes bank. Um, so the quest is Quergo's treasure map, and I'll be talking about this in a second. Uh, but basically, it's you know stuff that you can get here from Teneris. Uh, they're kind of like drops and you put three pieces of this map together and you're able to go ahead and start this quest Now the key is that this is like in the middle of nowhere, right? It's like you got to go all the way down here to get it so You're gonna be fighting about five level 50 mobs So you want to kind of be in the high levels also. It's a long distance. So you want your mount uh, the best way I think you take advantage of this is you pair this with fishing, you go fishing all the way down the coast, and then you go do this. Now when I go over there, I bring about 10 maps, and the reason why is because, I don't know if this is a bug, but I sort of figured this out the hard way that if you actually have uh, multiple maps, you what you do is you, when you loot one of the, the people that you fight, it drops a key you turn it in you start a new quest you turn it in right so i'll go ahead and for some of you guys that are checking us out a little bit later um you guys can see more or less what i mean and a place to get some really cheap maps that i love is all the way down here i don't grind for maps i just buy these for like 50 cents off the auction house the three pieces so it's coming out to like a gold and five um but if we come over here and take a look at it and we just say map. You you can get them for about that price, right? So I'll show you what I'm looking at here. I just like always coming checking out this. Auction house because it always seems like they got some good here. But sometimes hit or miss. Alright, so I had bought these, I think, like a bunch before I logged off. And so you take the lower, you, let me see if there's an upper, yeah, there's an upper, and there's a middle. You go ahead, just right click it, you pair it together, and there you got it. So let me go ahead and get 10 on me. And you can see the price that I'm getting these from. These are 59 cents, 50 cents. Like I, I wouldn't try to try to go ahead and bid get prices for these range. Get yourself with 10. And I'm actually gonna check to see. If there's uh, actually there might be all the way east. I'm gonna look, pick up like some fishing bait. You need like maybe two two different things of fishing bait. You go head out, check it out, and then um, there's a lot of fire fin snappers. There might be about two oilies. And then probably about two of the debris ones that have like some mithril trunks, which are really nice, man. Uh, so I like to leave my bag super empty that you see here. And usually what I'll do is I won't even uh, open up the trunks because they have a, like when you do the quest, you'll see that there's a lot of stuff inside. Now, 
in terms of the time to go ahead and do this quest, I would set at least a half an hour to kind of go through it because it is a big distance. Basically, even even if you have an epic mount, uh, going from Gadgetson all the way to the, like basically the southest point in Tenaris. Um, and I think one of the things that you can use to really maximize the time that you're going to be spending out here is um, fishing. Now there's basically all types of fish that you can gather from here. Um, it's very plentiful when it comes to the firefin snappers, which you know you can flip those into fire pots um, and, and fire oil. But the, the ones that I'm looking to are anything that is the junk. And the junk will get you a lot of these mithril trunks. Um, they can be like floating wreckages, you know, like they're, they're just kind of like boards that you want to fish from. And, and in those trunks, it's like you're getting, um, you know, a lot of greens, some good items from it. You're getting bolts of cloth. And so there's really useful items that have a lot of value. So just make sure that when you start this quest, I like to almost have like two bags full because as you see, as I'm gonna go through this quest, I didn't have it on this run. And there were a lot of times where I had to actually like remove stuff in and out of my bag space. So that can be kind of annoying. So just make sure that you go into this with the right amount of bag space. Make sure that you have your fishing rod, you have some bait. Um, one other thing that now that, I, that we're talking about fishing, um, this is also a spot that's going to get you the squid that gives uh, the agility boost, which is great for hunters and other classes like rogues and whatnot. Uh, so if, if you're in the season where I think it's the winter, Winter season, you can get that winter squid and uh, you know gather all of those mats for later raids that you would often use the squids for. So what you want to do is you just click on this it says we're looking for a mast, a flag and bones. So we're looking for some weird post thing. It's not this uh, goblin flying mount thing. It's this guy right here. The incon inconspicuous landmark. Uh. Hit open. People run. Myself take too many hits on that one. All right, so we're here. We have already accepted one quest. We loot. We get the key. We get the Quergos hidden treasure. And you get the key. Now, if you click on all these people and loot it before you accept the second quest, they don't got keys. So, you want to make sure after before you loot any of these people here, you accept a new quest, you get the new key, you come back.
So this is why you need 10, I would say 10 maps, um, because you're going to use five for one landmark. You're going to go ahead and loot, turn in, loot, turn in, loot, turn in. This is going to go into a cooldown mode. We're going to go ahead and look for another landmark. There's usually like two. Here it is. Now, I was doing this a lot more optimally with uh, a bird, but um, I recently been leveling this guy up just for raiding, so he's not exactly a happy camper all the time. So I ended up with 10 trunks from Quergo's Hidden Treasure. I've ended up with seven mithril trunks, eight eels, six blackmouth, 13 firefin snappers, um, and then other stuff that I've gotten. Um, oh, and uh, two black labels. So it's pretty good. Alright, so we got, what do we get here? We got a journeyman backpack. We got some moonberry juice. We got a wolf weapon. Alright. So let me go ahead and start auctioning this stuff out. So you see, I did one of these runs earlier. All these weapons here, usually I put on, on the auction house, unless it's some weird, like, of the board. Um... I don't really like of uh, the wolf either. It's very specific. Of the falcon, some hunters might want that. Um, so I got one journeyman backpack. It's pretty decent. It's two gold. So just in this one trunk that I got, that I spent 150, uh, one gold and 50 silver on, I got a backpack that's worth 250. And which one did I open up? I picked the wrong one. I got a... These are some of the, uh, the mithril stuff. An epic here. Another backpack. A really good ring. Oh, this. I mean, this is vendor of the wolf, two seventy five, two seventy nine. It's a lot of money. Third backpack. Like of the wolf, I don't know if I should hold on to this because who needs agility and spirit? I'm gonna just sell this. I can't open that. Wow. So this is what you want. The Quergo's Gold with Worm. It sells for seven fifty right now on our server. Um, you're looking at anywhere between seven to ten gold for this right here. Absolutely ridiculous amount of money making you can make with this quest.
guys so much for sticking to with this guide now as you can see there's a lot of money to be made now if uh, you're doing the same process that I am you're you're kind of just bidding for it instead of grinding for these maps and you're you're targeting that price of about 50 silver um, you're gonna come out if you grab about 10 maps together you're gonna come out at a, a median price of about 15 gold now that's that's where we want to see if this is a, a worthwhile uh, investment as you see here i was able to get one epic about four different journeyman backpacks i was able to also get uh, the Cuervo's worm, uh, gold with the worm, which for itself already sells for seven gold and 50 silver. So that's half the cost of our initial investment, along with tons of greens. Now, your your val value that you're gonna actually make on this is highly contingent on the greens that you guys do get. Some of them are worth a lot more. If you get resist gear, it's worth a lot more than, you know, of the wolf and other things that we did discuss in the video along with all the different grays that you can vendor and sell uh, the parrot bones and the scarfs and all that all that stuff i i think that this is a way that on average i'm spending about 30 minutes doing this process um, i think it's useful that you know you can get all 10 maps together and do it at once and as long as you have the bag space you're gonna have you know about two bags full of trunks from fishing and the quests so even though it's we do have that initial upfront cost of about 15 gold, we do have the time investment, and it is lengthy. Uh, the shortcut of being able to turn in multiple quests, you know, only finding um, you know one of those uh, objects and being able to get one key per pirate really is what defines this as something that I think is valuable. Uh, almost every time I'm making at least 50 gold as I go out there. So it's about 50 gold for half an hour uh, along with, you know, that uh, upfront investment of about 15 gold. So it's roughly about 35 gold per half an hour. It is a lot more active than just some of the stuff like we've done with cooking and, um, you know, there's always the PVP element, which I've never gotten jumped down there, uh, but I have jumped a couple people. So um, I, I don't know how far a run would be if you do die. So there's a couple of things that there is to consider, uh, but I think it's a very high risk, high reward sort of quest that you can do over and over again. Once again, um, it doesn't require really any sort of professions outside of, you know, just maybe take advantage of fishing and you're able to have a really good sustainable source of income so i hope you guys like this guide i hope you guys like the video i appreciate all you guys supporting me and sticking with me um, i'm going to be trying to target making a different video each week i'm going to be mixing up a couple different things um, around video games not just warcraft or wow um, and kind of talk about those different topics so I, I think it would be highly important if you guys could provide feedback on each of the videos um, that really helps me know where you guys are at what you guys are interested in um, I also got one video that a lot of people have been asking me for uh, which is around comics which I'll talk about in my next video take care guys